Hello, hello, it's Tamplet here. Here's an item on number theory. After rearranging all the digits of the number 20,150,510, that number can be divided by 5 raised to k. Find the maximum integer value of k. Credits to the Hong Kong International Math Olympiad for this question. Now let's take a look at the digits of the number given. Now we have 8 digits, 2, 0, 1, 5, 0, 5, 1, and 0. Now, just with uh, taking a look at the largest power of 10 that would divide this number, we would want to put the zeros at the end, just because we know that if we put zeros at the end, for example, we have three zeros. If I put three zeros at the end, this number will be divisible by 10 cubed. And it is nice because 10 cubed does contain a factor of five cubed, as you can see here. Now let's take a look at what should we put. What are the last uh, what are the last non-zero digits that we have to put? Then we might try to consider putting a five, just because we don't have any zeros. But if we put a five next to a zero, then we have an additional factor of uh, sorry, yeah, we have an additional power of five. Now then we try to go further. What can we put here next to the five so that the number will be divisible by another power of five? Then here we know. Uh, then we here we can put twenty five just because. That's uh, technically five squared. So, any multiple or uh, any multiple of twenty five. Um, that can be. Uh, we can only make twenty five using the digits. To make a multiple multiple of twenty five in this case. So so far we've used the three zeros and we used the two and the five. And what we have left are ones and fives. So we have the one here, the five here, and the one here. Now you can try all of those combinations out and you would notice that it would be optimal to put a one and instead of a five, just because if I multiply a one, then I know that at least I have the 125, which is gonna give me a sign that, okay, this number is divisible by 125, which is five cubed and an additional five cubed from the 10 cubed. And we just have to actually just check the last six digits in this case. By the way, if you guys didn't know, we, also, we have a divisibility rule by 5 raised to k. Now that is to check the last k digits. Now if it's divisibility by 5, then we just check the last one digit. Well, we check if it's either 5 or 0. Now if it's divisibility rule by 25, we check the last two digits, right? And that's pretty much um, the same thing, by the way, for the divisibility rule by 2 raised to k. You also just check the last k digits. So. Since we have uh, the last k digits here to be one two five zero zero zero, we can you can verify this on your own. But this is this number is divisible by five raised to six, and you can try it out. And you can see that if you try to go through all other possible combinations, uh, the largest or the maximum integer value of k is indeed six. Now I've also done this via a Python program that I've made off the screen, and from all of these um, intuitions, I mean, you don't have a program during the competition, but from just the intuition and this knowledge based on the divisibility rule by 5 raised to k, we can finally conclude that the maximum value of k, or sorry, the maximum integer value of k must be 6. And this is indeed our final answer. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!